This screencast is designed to help people who are searching for empirical research related to their topic, but are finding lots of information that include opinion pieces and policy briefs, and, and wading through all that is making it difficult to get to the empirical pieces they need for, for their critical uh, literature reviews and briefs early on in the semester, and just getting an understanding of the empirical base. So, uh, one example that we're going to use is a broad topic uh, like professional development. So again, this would be useful for a student who is starting out early in the process. They have a general idea of the topic they want to look at, but they haven't really developed research questions yet. And sometimes when your topic is that broad, it's good just to start with uh, a Google search rather than drilling right down to Eric or, or ProQuest. So uh, we'll start with the topic of professional development. And uh, we'll make sure that we narrow that down to teachers uh, so that we're not looking at professional development in the private sector or other social service sector. And, uh, and then we're going to look for a meta-analysis. And by looking at a meta-analysis, uh, what we're doing is we're trying to find work that's already been done on the, on the topic of professional development where they've gathered lots of existing empirical studies uh, developed a methodology for selecting what empirical studies to include and and this will give us a, a sort of a broad sweep of at least one element of professional development uh, research but it'll, it'll also unlock uh, a lots of, of empirical studies that we can look at and, and read and get ideas from and, and hopefully that will unlock uh, the, the any log jam that's been created in this beginning process. Uh, and it will help a student see what other people are doing, see how they're asking questions, and, and that will, will prompt them to develop some of their own questions. So you see here we have, we have quite a few that, that might fit the bill, uh, including early on um, a meta-analysis uh, study of the effects of teacher professional development. Uh, so here's one that we can take a look at. We can we can get a feel for what's happening in that in that paper, um, and and sometimes you want to I, I would say go go right to the selection process. So in most of these there'll be there'll be some um, section uh, that lists uh, selection uh, how they selected their articles. Here you see the publication PDF is available, and if we click on that. We'll have our paper. Uh, these are quite lengthy. Uh, there are a few things that you can do. So one is, like I said, is you you would scan through it rather quickly to find the table of contents, and uh, as as you go through this, you'll eventually see that there's some uh, section that describes how they're going to select what's going to be included, and uh, and that'll give us a sense of the kinds of articles that we're looking at, and that then we'll know if this is what we want to, where we want to start, and then if you, sometimes they even do that, and they'll provide a table, and so here you see a table of studies, where it'll list the uh, the study itself by the author, what kind of article it is, a journal article, a dissertation, uh, the study design, um, and then a little bit about who the uh, the subjects were. Um, some outcome measures, and finally the type of test that was that was applied. And so, anyway, uh, hopefully this is a good start for a lot of you who are feeling stuck in that early part of the process. And from here, um, you might want to look at those studies that you find in here that, that pique your interest. It might be the most recent ones, particularly dissertations where there's lots of in-depth literature review to look at. And uh, this will get the ball rolling.